welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I thought I would do a little bit of a shootout here. And this is a shootout between Conway Stewart USA and Conway Stewart UK or Great Britain. And there's a lot of myths going on here. Conway Stewart actually closed its doors a number of years ago and unfortunately went into administration. A lot of the rod material was, was brought up by other rod material retail or distributors and it's been available on the market ever since. Now, a company called Bespoke British Pens also set up as well. Um, they actually manufacture a lot of British pens and they took the Conway Strip brand and started reproducing pens out of the original nibs and uh, trims and clips and and resin material uh, and celluloid as well that Conway Stewart was using and then Conway Stewart USA came up which was a company uh, in the US which is under the pen family umbrella along with ASC along with Bexley and uh, while ever sharp and, and Italian pens and other pens. So here is a number of pens. So left to right we have a Conway Stewart Series 100 and this is the Candy Red. We have the Series 100 in the Emerald and these are termed as spaghetti models because of the actual material in the pens and so this is the candy red this is the emerald we have the grey pearl spaghetti we have a starry night spaghetti and we have a blood orange spaghetti and then we have the british contingents here now i would have had a fourth one but i sold it uh last year so this is a conway stewart series 100 and this is made by bespoke british pens in the original conway stewart red stardust material and you can see the, the size differences here between the usa and the british versions that there is quite a difference there going on clips are very similar the actual trims are very different as well and likewise the finials and then we have the conway stewart churchill and this is made by bespoke british pens in the uk and this is the original Churchill model, again with the Conway Stewart Red Stardust material, which is a stunning material. And then we also have it in the Blue Stardust as well. And you'll notice that the clips do change a little bit, going between the older versions and the more modern versions. So I think to look at these in a little bit more detail here. So, as I said, this is the Conway Stewart Series 100 in the red candy spaghetti so this is a beautiful pen and you can see there as it rotates this sort of striated sort of spaghetti type approach here now some of these have steel nibs some of these have gold nibs this one has an 18 karat gold nib it's a bock nib and it's also a if i unscrew this a cartridge converter but this is the USA version of the Conway Stewart Series 100. And then this one is the Emerald Green. You can just see there that Emerald Green shining there on camera. Uh, the spaghetti type. Almost, It's almost like the material has been cut into strips and then glued together. Uh, a little bit like what Pelican do uh, in their souverns and again this one has a gold nib like the candy red so these two have the gold nibs in we then have the gray pearl spaghetti which to be honest actually out of the conway stewart series 100 models this is my most favorite color i have this in a leonardo Offertina italiana grande Memento Zero, and I really do love this material a lot. Um, now, this does come with a steel nib. 
you can get these in steel and gold nibs as well but I just love this material it's a beautiful material so that's the grey pearl spaghetti and then we have the starry night spaghetti which you can see there as well it's a very dark sort of pattern going on there but you can see you still get that sort of spaghetti type effect going on and again here you have the steel nib that is on this pen these are all cartridge converters and we also have the Conway Stewart USA series 100 and this is the blood orange spaghetti so again another stunning material there that you can just see is really quite captivating and again this one has a steel nib all of these have ABS plastic feeds whether or not you go for a steel or gold nib but that is the Conway Stewart USA models and then we have the British model here which as I mentioned is a little bit shorter probably about half a centimeter shorter but it's enough to make a difference but this equally is a beautiful material this is the red stardust so this is the Conway Stewart made by bespoke British pens and these I would say are more authentic compared to the USA models partly because they're made in the UK partly because they actually come with most of the original trims that Conway Stewart had made on the production line including clips as well uh, the only difference really in terms of authenticity is they come with a flag nib which is a bespoke British pens nib so that's about the only difference uh, in terms of the pen these are all cartridge converters now bespoke British pens do some of the original Conway Stewart piston style pens but they're normally a lot harder to to get hold of but just look at this material here so rotate that that is a gorgeous material so if you're after a more authentic looking modern Conway Stewart pen I would definitely look at the bespoke British pen models if you don't really mind about Conway Stewart and you like these patterns or these colors then I would say go for the Conway Stewart USA um, they both are very similar in terms of style of pen just a slight variances between the USA models here and the British models and then we have the Conway Stewart Churchill and this is only made by bespoke British pens uh, it's not made by Conway Stewart USA and again this is the red stardust material which I really do like a lot um, now you do get this black cap finial on there it looks very much like an original Conway Stewart and again the difference is that you have a flag nib there you don't have the original Conway Stewart nib uh, but you will also find that it's a cartridge converter as well so all of these are cartridge converter pens and I don't mind cartridge converters because I find that they can be a lot more easier to fill and to clean and to change inks on so for me that's actually sometimes a benefit and then we have this one and again this is the blue stardust version so it's like the red one but it's a lot more darker but it does have a lot of glitter and sparkle in that body if you catch the light just right but again like this is really nice clip uh, it's quite a quite a chunky clip here but it's uh, a clip that I like on this pen I think it's great that it's actually more rhodium trim than say the gold trim on here and if I unscrew this again again it's a cartridge converter and it also has the bespoke British pens flag nib on there now the flag nibs are Bok nibs the Conway Stewart series 100 from Conway Stewart USA pens also have a Bok nib and they're either steel nibs or gold nibs 
So that's really the comparison or the shootout I wanted to do between Conway Stewart USA, which are these five pens here, and then the three pens here for Conway Stewart UK or Bespoke British Pens. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.